It's uh, six o'clock in the morning and I've brought you up here to Old Winchester Hill because I thought it'd be great for us to witness together uh, the sunrise. We don't often see a sunrise. In fact, the last time that I saw a sunrise was when I picked someone up from Luton Airport back in February. But it's always good occasionally to get out and see a sunrise, to see the sun gradually eradicate the darkness of the night and allow the new day to begin. Hi, thank you once again for watching one of these short reflections done by Southern Counties Baptist Association. All the love and greetings of the team come to you. Please be assured of our prayers and all our support during this time of COVID particularly. Whenever I see a sunrise, it reminds me of that precious verse that says, because of your great love for us, we will not be consumed, for your compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. You might be surprised to learn that actually that verse is not in one of the Psalms. It sounds like it should be, doesn't it? But, but it isn't. It's actually embedded in this, one of the saddest books of the Bible, in Lamentations. A book filled with grief and mourning, expression, uh, concern and, and, and sadness to God. And in the middle of that book, we discover these wonderful words. Of hope. I don't recall as a young Christian ever being taught to lament but actually when you look at the Bible there are examples of those that weep. Job for example and David writes from a place of sorrow often and Jesus himself weeps. He weeps at the tomb of Lazarus but he also weeps as he enters into Jerusalem. He weeps over Jerusalem. Lamentations is a strange book because it is given over to this, this, this sense of lamenting and mourning and, and, and weeping and it encourages its, its reader to, to weep. As Western British Christians we, we often don't have that practice of weeping but I wonder whether we should. Not that we put a date in the diary but, but when things happen we stop and we weep. We weep with those that have been impacted by COVID, who have lost loved ones. We weep with those that have been affected by this devastating explosion that took place in Lebanon this week. We, we weep with those that are, are, are facing malnutrition in South Sudan. We weep with those who have been displaced in India because of the monsoons and flooding. We weep with those who suffer, we weep with those who mourn and surely we should weep with those who weep. Lamentations isn't just a book about weeping. It also is a book that encourages the person, the reader, to repent, to come back to God, to return to him, to recognise their sins and to repent. In fact, I like the verse in chapter 3, verse 40, where it says, Let us examine our ways and test them. Let us return to the Lord. Let us lift up our hearts and our hands to God in heaven and say, We have sinned and rebelled. God's people don't always get it right. I remember as a young pastor meeting with some other leaders in the town that I was serving at the time and I remember suggesting as part of the conversation that perhaps we should have a time, a period of confession. My suggestion at best was met by stony silence but at worst I received this stinging email from one of the other leaders suggesting that I had been disrespectful of the Church of God and, and other, other leaders in the town. As I've reflected over that email over many years now, and I think I've got over it, 
Uh, I think there are times when it is right for the church to stop and to repent, to confess to God that we haven't always got it right. We don't always get it right in terms of hearing what God is saying. We don't always get it right in terms of the depth of our worship for God. We don't always get it right when we're caring for our black brothers and sisters and treating them as equals. We haven't always got it right when we, when we care for the poor or, or we're slow in caring for the poor. And so we could list so many other things, we could continue the list. There are so many things that we perhaps need to come to God and say, God, we haven't got it right. And maybe COVID is a time when it's right for us to stop and say, God, show us the things that have not been good, that we might repent and return to you and allow you to change our lives so that we might be stronger and more holy in your sight for the future. Lamentations is not just a book about weeping and repenting. It's also a book about rediscovering, renewing our hope in God. The writer, right in the middle of Lamentations, is so clever and so beautiful. In the midst of all this sorrow, in the midst of all the mourning, in the midst of all the repenting and the confessing, in the midst of all this, in chapter 3, verse 22, the writer says this. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I love a sunrise. I love to watch the sun rise from time to time. I'm not, I don't do it regularly, but I like to do that. And I love the cycle of the day. I love the fact that as we come to the end of the day, whatever the day has held for us, we can put that to one side and there is a new day that will come. And as the sun rises, so it dissipates the darkness of the night. And a new day, the light of God's grace, the light of God's greatness, the light of God's faithfulness and the light of God's love and the light of God's hope enters into our lives each day. May you know the goodness, the grace, the faithfulness, the love, the mercy, the compassion and the hope of our Lord Jesus Christ as each day starts, as the sun rises and may you carry that on into the lives of those that you come in contact with. May you know God's grace and goodness this day and every day. Thank you.